Originally manufactured by Cyborg Galactica, C-3PO retained many of the components and memories from his early life. For example, his Tranlang 3 communication module afforded him fluency in more than 6 million forms of language, making him an excellent diplomat. Yet the protocol droid wasn't merely reconstructed to aid polite and peaceful interactions between the galaxy's thousands of sentient beings. In fact, the young slave Anakin Skywalker adapted C-3PO not only for the challenge, but to also help his overworked mother. The exceptionally gifted engineer, even at 10 years of age, began his pet project by scavenging components others discarded as junk. He then upgraded much of C-3PO's internal circuitry to better suit him to the harsh conditions of Tatooine. Before long, the droid was almost complete, only requiring an external shell to cover the likes of his on and off switch. But that's not to say the entire reconstruction process was as smooth as his future golden place. Over the years, Anakin and his mother constructed a vast collection of tools and gadgets, most of which had been written off by others as beyond repair. By restoring the likes of a lubricant gun, diagnostic screen, microcircuit welder and a rack of demagnetizing tools back to working order, both were able to hone their talents as mechanics, all the while kitting out their very own basic workshop. This allowed Anakin to power C-3PO's arms and legs with high torque motors attached through anchor pins to his torso. Each, despite their rigid and secure nature, could be taken apart and reassembled with little to no effort. So much so that in the event of a lost or damaged limb, the protocol droid standard fitting was easily replaced. Unfortunately, finding spare photoreceptors was a much more difficult task. Lee's mechanical eyeballs not only allowed C-3PO to view the world like a human and in infrared, but also gave him the ability to scan for heat signatures due to the built-in Myriad visual system. So when a greedy gran in the Moss Espa marketplace refused to let Anakin purchase a pair of such photoreceptors, the youngster quickly took off and even toppled an Ithorian's trader stall as a means of escape. Thankfully, the risky encounter ultimately proved fruitful for both Skywalker and C-3PO. With none of his young master's appetite for action and adventure, C-3PO was all too happy helping Anakin and his mother around their simple family home. However, fate would have a much larger role for him in the wider galaxy, one he would embark upon whether he liked it or not. Now I know many of you dislike or even hate the fact Anakin built C-3PO during his early years. So with that in mind, how would you change the droid's early history? Let me know in the comments below. If you've learned something new from today's video, be sure to leave a like. To help out the channel that little bit extra, please do consider pledging to our Patreon page. And for all things inside Star Wars, press that subscribe button and notification bell. Thanks for watching.